Okay, we are live. Welcome back, everybody. Um, as I was telling Roman before we went live, I am having camera problems for some reason. It's the first time I've been able to stream in probably two, three months, and my yeah. uh, StreamYard settings do not like me right now. It's a demonic attack. <laughs> I don't know. It's a pity. I was going to show you the omnibus I picked up. Oh, The first Superman Silver Age omnibus came out. You, you also got okay. some um, for your eyes only. Yeah, uh, I picked up. Well. Uh, so Justin, I was back in Iowa this week. Uh, Justin, who's been on the show with us before, has the comic shop he works at. I picked those up there. Oh, cool. You know what? I don't want to be on camera because um, uh, <laughs> Roman's, Roman's uh, uh, background you can't compete with that. Let's face it. You just what? can't compete. <laughs> I, I, to be fair, I added a lot on over. I actually, so I added a lot on over the holidays. Like I said, we haven't, right. I told, we haven't been on together for like, like a minute. No, we haven't. And, and, and actually what you don't see is on the floor, there's like, like 11 or 12 other boxes of stuff. I haven't even opened yet to add wow. into the new, uh, the new display. How do you clean them all though? That's because, like, every day I see like dust and I'm like, where the hell is this dust coming from? <laughs> <laughs> now you wait for something horrible to happen and then they fall over and then you clean. That's uh, it's, right, it's okay. otherwise it's yeah it's a, it's a it's a, it'd be an ordeal. <laughs> well, I'm I'm moving soon. I'm moving in August, so it's pointless. No, moving. I didn't know that. Yeah, move moving not far from where I am because uh, this building's going to be knocked down because it's been up too long. Oh, so, um Yes, yeah, so, uh, it's a council wow. council house, and we brought it. So, but the government, you know, it was built in the sixties. It shouldn't have been up this long. So they're moving us to a newer place. It's a new build, just like not not far from where I am. So that's cool. So, so you'll have a new background eventually. I will, I will, and uh, all my stuff, most of my stuff's in boxes anyway. Most of my geeky stuff. So, as I said, I I, I, can't, I mean, I'd be cleaning that every day, Roman, if I had if i had your background <laughs> it's like ridiculous <laughs> yeah 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 well, it's I, awesome. I hate yeah yeah go please father sorry no no that's okay i was just gonna say what's new golly <laughs> <laughs> you, you go yeah you have a far more interesting life than i do <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> no I, I look i'm i'm still trying to complete rebecca gold season two um i'm doing my best um i'm running out of money um but what i've got so far is pretty good i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with it tell you the truth i mean i could stick it um the, the problem is is that the actress changed from season one to season two and um if people don't watch season one they're not gonna understand season two so but quite frankly i don't care i just i you just do, wanted uh, to make it i just wanted to you make do a bad it bad woman yeah, I could I could cancel it and get the tag. Oh no, the change of the actress and everything. Oh right, no, it's just I don't know what to do with it. I mean, once it's all stuck together, it's 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 very entertaining. But once it's all stuck together, what do I bloody do with it? What do I do with it? I don't know. I just screen, I just show it, I put it on YouTube and stuff, and then that be that really. But I have spent a lot of money on it, and I am pretty proud of it. But really, I just wanted to make it and exercise. Uh, directing that's all I really wanted to do, really. But anyway, uh, say hi to Man of War, he's in the chat. Good to see you. Oh, Man of War, I ain't seen him since Texas, which was mm -hmm. four years ago, five years ago. No, it's been about two. Two, oh god, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Um, uh, yeah, so what you've been doing, Roman, apart from me missing all your videos because it's bloody too late in the morning <laughs> <laughs> well uh, i've been working on uh, on music again which is which right. is good it's taking forever though Dr musicians are the worst and drummers are the worst of the worst so oh, wow uh, yeah. trying to coordinate all of that uh we've got two songs oh my god there it is What's it's that? the it's the spider of the empire he's back See, uh, I, at least I saw him this time. He didn't surprise me. Last time, it was a complete kerfuffle on my show. He crawled out from under the keyboard, and things just went everywhere. And uh, I, I probably need to go to confession for that one. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so the music thing is, is slowly coming along. We have someone new who's going to be coming in to help me out with production. Uh, mm. We'll see how it all goes. We'll see how all that goes. And then um, I'm off to Vegas next week. So oh, yeah. You, is that the big nice. news up thing? Yeah, that's the it's that's you know the 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 big show. Right. Uh, so heading out there on Wednesday, and it's actually Wednesday night, and then we're gonna do our exploring on Thursday. Um, 
there's a there's a big Texas barbecue buffet that I think we're gonna last year we did the uh, Caesar's Bacchanal buffet, which was extraordinary. Oh, but you know, you do one, you want to do something different this year. And a lot, we all just so many people. Um, I mean, PJ's supposed to be coming out with us too. He's he's scheduled. Oh, so, PJ's going out there, is he? I, in the real world, I know. I'm oh, so wow! To finally meet him. You know, I, I met him. I met him at the last meetup. Very well, nice I mean, that's, that's in your neighborhood, though. It's yeah, different. exactly. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just like me meeting. I was like, wow, that's. Um, so there's a big group. There's like this. You know how when you have a party and you have too many friends over and you want to spend mm -hmm. time with all of them, so you spend time with none of them. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know that. So uh, I, I got to make sure that I, I can I can carve out a, a really big chunk of time and hopefully P, PJ and I can get to have some adventures together uh, mm. in Las Vegas. Cool. And there's a lot of good people are going to be there. I'm I'm really oh uh, oh yeah, Man of War is going to be there again. I, mean, I got to meet him last year too. So yeah. I was going to uh, say PJ hasn't been on with us in a while. No, he I hasn't. No, heard him. He hasn't done. No, he had to go either. off. Yeah, yeah, he had, yeah he had to go off for 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 uh, some some health stuff, and so he's he's been off the off the but off the grid. I, um, I don't think I've talked to you, Roman, since the Wisconsin meetup because I went out to Milwaukee for the meetup uh, in November, mm. and I got to tell you that was a blast because it was about two hundred people. Only yeah, two hundred people. They and they were <laughs> limited on how many people could be in there, and it was yeah. uh, it was really intimate. Right, and that's—I mean—and that's the problem. I mean, the problem with quotes around it. it Gary's become so big that the meetings are are are, are a—they're uh, limited on the amount mm. of persons that they can allow in. So they 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 only had Wednesday night originally, and then they had to expand into two nights at uh, Millennium right. Fandom. Bar I say the one thing that's been fun being a part of this community is I don't have to introduce myself. I mean, he knows. Who well, I am, so I'm excited by that. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well the, the thing is, but there was he... the interesting thing was there was another priest at the meetup. Oh, cool! Really awesome. Yeah, and he was well, actually blessed. his cleric, so I wasn't. Do you know what? Right when he came to the UK, um, and he had a meetup, he, I saw him in a show, and he was complaining that that the uh, actual establishment was complaining that there was too many people, and then when it reached a time, that to kick everybody out. And um, uh, Gary was going on about how they didn't appreciate, you know, a lot of people came and bought drinks and stuff like that. And they were still moaning. The reason why they were still moaning, if, if you ever talk to Gary, was because in England, they have this thing called insurance. And um, and also in our bars, you only allow them a certain amount of people. If you have more than a certain amount of people, the police can shut you down. So yeah. that's probably why they were upset because well, they didn't realize so many people were going to turn up, you know. Right. Well, I mean, once you, I mean, America has, I mean, we do have capacity in bars. Yeah. It's, is it, it's, I've never, I mean, the last one, I'm sure they had capacity as well. Mm. But, um, and can they, can they close an event down or, or, or whatever? I suppose they probably could. I mean, I've, I've not seen it. So, uh, yeah. so we'll, I guess we'll, we'll see this, this year. I'm, I'm, cause last year was really crowded. So I'm kind of curious to see what the, it'd probably be even what, worse. This what year. two nights is going to be. Yeah, it'd probably be Roman. It'd probably be worse because you know his popularity has grown, hasn't it? I mean, he's got <laughs> he's got over a million subscribers, and um, but the thing I would take my hat off to um, Gary more so than ever. Him and Dave Cullen, I think, are brilliant. Is that he, he literally would would if he sees me, he would step out the line and come and shake my hand. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And I really do appreciate that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and and I, I love that about him. He's very genuine, old Gary. No, he, so. he is. He's a genuinely good dude. Like, uh, you know, we went to see the the first Ghostbusters movie together. Mm. It was me and him and and his wife and um one of one of the, our other California folks. And it was just, I mean, it was just our group. And that's it. We're just going to the movie and hanging out. And yeah. that was the that was the that was the event, you know. But it's uh, yeah, he's a he's a he's a good cat, you know. Mm. Uh, so I'm I'm I am. I'm really happy for all the success that he's had. It's just, he's blown up and good, good on him. He's, I mean, he's been on, you know, like mainstream yeah. stuff yeah, now as well. He's, come, he's, he's crawling, crawling up from the, uh, our YouTube, our YouTube world. It's, it's very exciting to see. I haven't seen you in ages, Father. I mean, I haven't seen I know, you I, in the well, like, not... like I mm. said, I, like teaching high school, we have maybe 30 days before we're done for the year, but yeah. it's just been busy this year. Uh, class right now, we're getting ready to talk about the American Civil War in the church. Right. Oh, wow. Quite, it's quite interesting. I was reading, I have to talk to Odin about this because his bishop in New Orleans put an interdict on a priest that celebrated a funeral for a black union officer. 
Mm. And the interdict is basically where the priest is not allowed to do any of the sacraments. Oh, okay. The, I mean, it's inter it really is an interesting time in church history. It's an interesting time in the world, full stop. Let's face that it. Too. There's, there's so many New York today. Yeah, so many stupid people in the world that yeah. are in charge, aren't they? And it's just really, it's getting a lot of people down. I, I mean, you know, also, right, Roman, you scrub up well, don't you, in the uniform, don't you, mate? Well, I, I did. Now, now, I, now, now I look like a homeless veteran. So. <laughs> you see, look, see, um, I have been seeing stuff with you, you know, like on, on certain social media stuff like that so you know you're, you're around you know even though i yeah, well, we, spoke we, to you in we just celebrated uh on april 1st is the is the birthday of the the chief petty officers in the united states navy that's yeah. when that rank yeah. was created back in 1893 so that's yeah. yeah i just did my 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 131st happy birthday to the chief so uh yeah All i've been right. this year is my fifth year uh retired mm. wow mm. wow oh i'm reaching to that age retirement age but i've got i've got nothing put aside though that's the problem so <laughs> yeah, it's, that's always a problem but i'm hoping something will happen hopefully got our faith right i guess well i'm hoping our government doesn't collapse and i lose all of my retirement because that would be uncool um i check up uh, um i want to ask you guys a question really do you think right since you guys live in the states do you think america has gotten better or gotten worse throughout the, the last 10 years because i had a discussion uh, with a couple of friends you reckon it's gone down all right yeah yeah right. well what what yeah. is the reason why because there, there are certain reasons why people think it's gone down well, what do you guys think i mean 10 years and i i look at the time i started teaching 15 years ago versus this year it's mm. i mean you look at the issues we're dealing with today i mean transgender stuff was not a thing Mm. No, it wasn't. 10 years ago yeah yeah all this garbage that we're dealing with was not around 10 years ago yeah yeah that, no, that and, is. and I'll, I'll 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 say it it is and and people can throw fruit at me when they see me on the streets and that's fine um it is it is largely socialist agenda driven the one mm. world government stuff uh you bring you bring the empire down so you can build on its ashes that kind of stuff yeah. um I mean, you look at the state of not, I mean, there are so many, it's because it's not a thing. It's all the things, but they're all infected by the same thing. Um, entertainment being like the, the thing that people see the most, you know, outside, but yeah. all of our political systems, education systems, even our military have mm. been infected with what Steve Dace calls the spirit of the age. Um, and that's what that is. You know, it's, I mean, we do have an admiral that wears a dress. What? It's Richard Levine. Yeah, it, they, uh, they, that's the well, no, transgendered it, other, and human services. Other countries laugh at our political uh, appointees. This, this, this administration has, has some, had some, I will call them colorful characters. Oh, yeah. Um, the bald-headed non-binary guy that stole nuclear secrets, that, or whatever it was. Well, he's well, he stole luggage. That's what he yeah. got arrested for. Um, it's just kind of it's a strange, unfortunate time. Uh, I mean, the empire, uh, the Roman Empire, at the end became a mockery of itself. You know, until the Eastern Empire took over, but the the, the proper uh, empire became a mockery of itself. It became a joke it, it, and it collapsed from within allowing the forces from out to come in and just waltz in and say, Hey, we're going to take over. Thanks. Uh, and then you get the stacking from, yeah, that's the luggage stealer. That's, why? It was, why? Uh, it was also in charge of, of nuclear energy. No, but why, um, why, why is this? I don't understand why this is happening. Why isn't anyone commenting on how stupid he looks? Or why is he wearing uh, the uh, pants? That makes you a folk. <laughs> You hear about that law that's been passed in Scotland? Oh yeah, I poor did. old PJ. Poor old PJ can't say anything. I now. know. That's <laughs> like, that's, I got to talk to him when he comes over here, so that no one that he doesn't get arrested. Um, yeah, that's that's. You want to talk about? I mean, I understand that freedom of speech isn't a thing in Europe, uh, not not in the same way anyway. Mm. But wow, that's that's a. I did hear on the news this morning, and this this made this this brought a smile on my face because it was so amusing. That they had had so many calls 
on the prime minister himself because mm. he hates, uh, you know, it, it, he hates white people was, was the basic, the, the, yeah. the, the, the gist of the complaints. And I just, I found that amusing um, that the, you know, system turning on its own. Oh, heavens. Um, oh, yeah. That's nice. another reason. I don't understand where this is coming from. I really don't. I, I'm con totally confused. Well, they, it's been at work for a very long time. Um, they played the slow game, and so they they broke down all the the minor offices. That's where you start. You don't start big. You start with the minor mm -hmm. offices, the school boards, the local elections, yeah. and then you weasel your way in there, and then you work your way up through it mm -hmm. until the whole system has collapsed and everybody's doing this, going, "How'd this happen?" Oh. Yeah, but the thing is, though, it's, it's um, you know, J.K. Rowling um, put a yeah, tweet yeah. out saying, you know, come and arrest me then. Do you know what I mean? I mean, how could you enforce a law like that? It, it doesn't make any I, sense. I'm curious. I am curious. I don't know. I don't know how. I, I mean, I they would have to they would have to come and probably arrest an awful lot of people. Um, yeah. And it, from, well, from what well, I understand, well, right. I mean, it's, the, the structure of it is pretty loose. I mean, they, if you say something in your home, you have a conversation in your home yeah. and someone hears something that is hate speech, which is an ill-defined mm. term because it doesn't exist, yeah. uh, then they they can call on you and then you get a visit from the authorities. That's exciting. Yeah, but, but they have to prove that you said it. I mean, that's the thing. That's why it doesn't work. How, how can they prove? It's just hearsay if somebody says that. I mean, I, I could I, say that about father you're, you're trying I, in 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 you're trying yeah. this is, we have this this is like this is like doctor who you're trying <laughs> oh, to apply no. logic to an illogical <laughs> situation and that will drive you insane you can't apply logic to it we just had uh <laughs> yes yes hello my fbi's name, <laughs> name agent's name is felix and he's a lovely man um the uh that we just had another woman uh, uh, not just arrested but convicted for uh, for for january oh i um, saw that yeah, the 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 elderly seventy lady year old pregnant. woman. Yeah. Why? And so they, she hasn't gotten her sentence yet, but she just got convicted. For what? Because she was, entered the Capitol on January sixth without permission. Oh, she was there. But she's seventy, though. What can you do to her? It's ridiculous. They don't care. You can put her in jail for effectively the rest of her life. Yeah, but why would you do that? But no, no, no. Remember what we just said. You mm. can't apply logic to an law. It's, I mean, this is kind of tactics, though. Then, and it is you—you you let the bad people run free, which we see very clearly in and in, in the states now, and you convict the good people for doing nothing, yeah. and then you end up in this strange upside-down world uh, that you don't where nobody trusts anything. And this is what they did in the Soviet Union when it, when it, they started that up that yeah. party um they they made it so that everyone basically thought they were going crazy because nothing made sense which is where we no, are it's and it's right. not and just good is, i mean you can see the this western is why world. i hate this election season i just can't believe Ooh, and i know it might be <laughs> i can't believe we're having to choose between trump and biden I, I I I gotta be careful what I say, but it's like I just can't believe this is what we're faced. Now when I watch MSNBC for fun, um <laughs> it's basically it's basically all Trump all the time, the hatred for Trump. It's like the two hour still, hate. Still, it yeah. still is. And I mean the reason I might vote for him is because of that. I think he's gonna win. I I I, I would hear and there's the I'm I'm Careful with what you say, so F. Felix doesn't call you. Um, mm. I, uh, I think he may get the proper amount of votes to have won an election. Right, right. Will he get to win the election? That's the. Uh, Al Alex Jones has theories, and I don't think they're wrong. Yeah. Um, that's a that's a thing, and this that's also one of the the things is you erode confidence in the electoral system. I think mm. a lot of people may not come out because they they feel well it doesn't matter now and that's and that's that's a problem. What what we need are numbers. You need to have such an extraordinary number that it's really hard for them to yeah. maneuver data so that it looks false or or, or other. Uh, I don't know. I it's it's a it's a scary time. I mean I know the way I'm going to vote, um, but does does any of it really matter? I don't know anymore. Uh, doesn't that's a scary thing to well, say. you know in my state and i'm not going to say it but you guys know where i'm from i mean it's a deep red state so my vote 
doesn't make a difference. The se- well, well, I ever since I was seventeen, I've never voted because I realized that it was a waste of time, and I used to get chastised for it from a lot of people, my parents, <laughs> everyone, and I kept saying to them. It's like voting for this rubbish person and this rubbish person. You know, there's yep. there's there's no in betweens there. They're all corrupt, and um, now they're beginning to realize I was right all these years. So it is just a waste of time. Whatever you're gonna, whoever you're gonna vote for, they're gonna be looking after themselves. They're not. They're not. They're not serving the people. They're serving themselves. It's crazy. Not not right? anymore. Any 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 yeah. any semblance of uh, the the servant uh, the servant leader. Is, yeah. is, is is in the past. Well, Mark Twain has has a wonderful quote. If if voting actually mattered, they wouldn't let you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is very true. It's very true. Um, you guys seen any good films lately? <laughs> oh, I, I I I need I may need I need I may need uh, father to absolve me of this. I watched Roadhouse. All right, um, all right. I and I, I I knew going into I I didn't go into it with any false illusions, but everybody else was like out for the night. My son had yeah. stuff going on. My wife was reading, and I was just like, oh, "All right, let's let's see how bad it can be." And it actually exceeded my expectations for badness. I I didn't <laughs> I, I didn't know it was going to be quite as horrible as it was. And I and I saw Col, uh, Conor McGregor's butt way mm. too much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, more than I'd ever wanted to, which is none. But. Uh, it was on every level of film can be bad. It was that. Well, uh, it, incohesive writing. Um, yeah. There was no story. I mean, the original Roadhouse is a guilty pleasure. It's not a great movie. No, it's, it's not. But it's entertaining at least. Yes, it is. Um, this was this was not that either. It's ah, it's, mm. uh, yeah. I tell you, I tell you the, the film that I it. the <laughs> film that I saw that I was bitterly disappointed with. And and the script is probably the worst script that's written ever written in my life. It's definitely Ghostbusters Frozen yeah. Empire. That was oh, so really? bad. It, wasn't good. it was so bad. I could not believe how bad it well, was. Isn't the teenage girl in like a lesbian that's relationship? With no, ghost? okay, right. So this is what I said on another stream, oh. right? These people, right, are getting very subtle. Now, if you watch that film, it is not evident that it is that kind of relationship, but <laughs> it can be misconstrued both ways. And you see, they know we can see it now. So they're, they're creeping it into loads of things subtly. And Frozen Empire is one of the films that they've creeped it in subtly. Um, and yeah, you can even, I mean, so, uh, some people said to me, yeah, it was that. Some people didn't even notice it. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, you know, they know there's people like the drinker and and uh, what you call it, uh, Gary and then and the nerd father, <laughs> Roman of the Empire. You know, seeing these things and reporting it. Um, but yeah, now they want to fight fire with fire, and they kind of put it in subtly. Do you know what I mean? Even some of the some well, of the TV shows we watch has subtle things in there. If they do it subtly then more people will see the film. If they do it overtly, yes, there's exactly. an automatic red flag that's going to, people are going to be like, eh, not so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, so exactly. yeah, the, that's, yeah. But that's, I mean, that, that that's, that's what we were talking about earlier to a large degree. I mean, they, that, that's how we got here in the big picture of stuff was the, the, the little stuff, the little yeah. stuff, the little stuff. And then it becomes the big thing, but yeah, yeah throwing it into a Ghostbusters movie. Well, Ghostbusters 2016 is a great example of, of not subtle. And mm. that's just everything they could throw at you. They threw yes. at you. Throwing yeah. at it in uh, Frozen Empire, that's a bit more nefarious. That's it a was. Bit um, more... The film was so bad that I I I walked out the cinema angry. Right, seriously, <laughs> I've never oh, been angry at a film um, in a long time, and this film was so so bad that I I asked myself why? How did it? How did it become this bad? I mean, just to give an example, right? The Ghostbusters now consists of uh, Paul Rudd, the wife that was in the first, uh, the mother that right. was in the first one, the two kids. Now, now, I mean, what's wrong with that picture? Why, why, why would you have Ghostbusters and two kids and throwing your kids in danger with ghosts that can tear you apart? Whatever, it makes no sense. It really does. If the film starts off, I'm giving out a spoiler here, where they're chasing this ghost down new york right and his ghost is flying and they're chasing his ghost 
and they've got two kids at the back. 90 miles per hour he's driving at, right? <laughs> Dodging the cars left, right and centre, trying to get this ghost. I mean, is that a responsible thing a parent would do? No. <laughs> it makes no it makes no sense, right? Well, I mean, I that's just say... one facet of it that's bad. Sorry. I will say the one movie I did get a sneak preview of was mm. Cabrini by Angel what? Studios. Oh, oh is it was... good? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> it, it, the problem it. is I, didn't, I, I got a sneak peek because I was considering doing like a field trip for my students to go watch it because it's the first canonized American Saint. But it's a two-and-a-half-hour movie. The first 20 minutes are in Italian subtitles, which I understand the reasoning why. But it's it's good, but it's not a... It doesn't really show her Catholicism. Mm. Uh, good, now, the uh, one I'm looking forward to... The one I'm looking forward to is the new Henry Cavell movie. The Ungentlemanly... Oh. Ministry of oh yes, uh, that yeah, one looks really that, good. I, it, it looks fun. I hope it. I hope the movie is as fun as it looks. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I hope it helps. Just they didn't. Get, they didn't give us all the best bits in the uh, the in the trailer because I do think that movie looks like an awful lot of fun, and it, it's. I mean, poor poor Henry Cavill has had such a uh, a run of not good stuff. I just got my uh, fingers crossed, hoping he'd be Bond, because they haven't. I, I mean, know. basically, they're saying that Aaron Taylor hasn't signed the contract and he's due to oh, really? sign it. I'm hoping Aaron Taylor runs away from it, and um, the only one that's left now is Henry. Now, I have I have um, uh, uh, contacts at e Eon Studios, which is the studios that do Bond, and a lot of my contacts is saying that everyone wants Henry to do it, but the only person that doesn't want him to do it is Barbara Broccoli. Oh dear! And so, so that's what I'm saying. And uh, Aaron is cheaper than than Henry, so that's why well, they can do Aaron so much. So. But that, yeah. But if you want to make money for your franchise, because the last uh, Bond movie it, it was not great. No, not it great. was um, mm. uh, and... okay, Actually, I, I'm not a big fan of Spectre either. I, I, mm. I, in my head, I like Spectre, and then my son's like, "Dad, Spectre sucks." And I watched it. <laughs> like, you know what? You're right. Spectre sucked. <laughs> Skyfall, Skyfall was was good. The first half of Spectre is actually not is is pretty watchable. The second yeah. half is is not good. Yeah, yeah. I just um, want to play a few seconds of this. this oh yeah, this, part with this Henry Cavell. I love great. this part. So I said, Zach is not a dog. Zach is my wife! <laughs> it's very good. Now, I gotta what? say that they're playing Queen in the background was pretty good. Mm. It just it's, looks like a lot of fun. Well, it, it, probably, it probably will be. I mean, as I said, right, I think... The only person that will make a billion dollars on um look, look, right. So I was watching this thing on John Williams, and he's 90, right? The guy is 19 years old yeah. and he's still composing music for films. And they asked him the question, is there anything you want to do next? You know what he said? He said, I want to compose music for a James Bond movie. Right. There he is. He's probably gonna take half of his wage just because he doesn't need the money, right? So I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Barbara Broccoli, get the man, get the man, get Spielberg to direct. Spielberg always wanted to direct a James Bond film. Now is the time. Henry, Spielberg, and John Williams. Billion dollars in the bank, guaranteed. Do you know what I mean? Yep. But they won't do it. They won't do it. They won't do no, it. They, like they Star Wars, yeah. To... Carrie Fisher, ha no. Mark Hamill, and Harrison Ford, and they didn't put them together. No. They wasted the opportunity, so you got to no. do it while he's still alive. Mm. Well, look at look at the uh, the 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 interesting casting for Fantastic Four. Oh god, oh, no. it's like they're going out of their way to of lose are. money and then call everybody sexist and racist. I mean, that's the only reason you do some of the stuff you do. Uh, you can't. Mm. No one could be this wildly inept. It has to be calculated moves. If, if you are so bad at your job, there's no way you could have gotten this far in the industry. Um, you have to at least make something good by accident at some point. But the, the casting for Fantastic Four now, and I and I love it's because it's hilarious. The uh the 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 new comic book fans who uh 
want to point out that yeah there's there's been there's been a female uh silver surfer before well yeah. yes and no yeah. um so nova yes but and she's and she was in like a handful of books but and i i wrote i wrote a post about this the other day and it's like you know i don't care if there was a manatee uh silver surfer no one wants to see that they want to see the silver bald guy that's yeah. what they want to see yeah uh, so it's an intentionally it's intentionally bad casting it's you know, this intentionally... is one of the franchises people have been waiting about again. Yeah, yeah but it's because they've got money from BlackRock, and money from BlackRock seems to be a, a, a um, non, non. You know, just the money just keeps coming, even though the films lose money. They want to change the world with this stupid fantasy um, thought bubble of theirs, which is just complete fantasy. You know, what I mean, everything that they they they're coughing up from the trans straight through to people in dresses men in dresses and trying to get men to enter into girls sports and stuff like that it's all it's all in their mind nothing about it is real or nothing about it is is based in reality at all so they're trying oh. to change the thoughts of uh, of of the world which if we lie back and let them then it's just it's going to get worse for all of us right so any road up it's depressing i know <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, that's true i saw I, that's like the cowboys game now i do prefer um <laughs> i do prefer um the uh burt reynolds Original. version though yeah, yeah i original. like both actually yeah i i like this one but i like the burt reynolds version better because i think the burt reynolds version had more it, it was more kind of it was funny but it had more the, the character yeah. more defined than Adam well, it's, it was almost the opposite of, of this mm. one. That one was a drama with comedic moments. Yes. yes. This one was a comedy with yes. some yes. dramatic moments. It, so it, was, so yeah. it also had Jaws. Mm. Sorry? It had Jaws <laughs> oh, yes, of course. In the first one, the, the Burt right. Reynolds one. I love the ending of the Burt Reynolds one where he goes to get the ball. Mm. And the, the guy's going, shoot him. He's trying to escape. Shoot him. And he walks away to it and just picks up the ball and he just comes back, doesn't he? So it's a really great ending. I, I you know, it is, and and also, it's all about the man growing, isn't it? He? he finds his humanity in jail. The best thing that happened to him was he got arrested and put into jail. And he finds his humanity. In uh, in the the Adam Sandler one, I I I, I was just played for jokes, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, you don't get you don't get the character or story arc. No, not not really. And the, the um, Vinny 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 Jones one's even jokes. worse. <laughs> they they, they oh. made a British version, didn't they? It was awful. Yeah, with soccer. I've it's never like, seen the British version. I've heard it's terrible. I know there's there's a British it version of it. That. Yeah, it's called. Uh, it's oh god. Uh, it's called the Mean Machine, and it's uh, Vinny Jones is the main star, and it's soccer football and we call it football you call it soccer it's about i soccer. know i know yeah. sorry so yeah <laughs> so yeah it's awful absolutely awful but there you remember go. i'm i one of the things i'm also is the chaplain for our high school soccer teams okay so our girls had a match last night we lost unfortunately right. um actually both the boys and the girls lost last night oh dear uh, uh, that's not good maybe a hex bag around somewhere that's not good um, um we've had a good season otherwise mm. So, have you guys seen the trailer? Jacob Ironside brought this up. Um, did you guys see the trailer for Romulus? Yes, oh. I'm actually quite excited. It yeah, looks really too. good. I, it, it does, and I watched a uh, probably it was okay, a 20 minute interview with the director. Right, and his certainly his vision is in the right direction. He mm. wants to take the franchise back to yeah. the roots of Alien and aliens because he liked both of those and he actually screened the film uh for both uh ridley scott who's become a terrible director sorry ridley scott oh yeah huh. and james cameron who has become a a weirdo i had to v-chip myself <laughs> um, <laughs> he's become an odd 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 fella uh so mm. what they were then is not what they are now but they both enjoyed the film so i don't know what that means either but like i said he wants to take it back to that claustrophobic small cast kind of thing and yeah. this takes place 20 years after the events of Alien. Yes, so it's, it's in between, between isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect time. You know, he's not trying to reinvent the wheel. He's just, he's like, well, this, this could work. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I, the Alien at the end of the preview mm. uh, looks fantastic. It looks like an Alien. And it also looks yeah. like uh, physical effects as yeah. opposed to uh, CGI. So I'm excited. 
I hate being excited about things. Uh, yes. Ever since the Doctor Who incident, and I got <laughs> and, and I had the rug pulled out from under me again, even though I knew I knew it was going to be terrible, but I got my hopes up anyway. I don't um, think I've, t- I've told everyone I'm not watching it. I've told you, I'm, did, I'm, you were right. I'm going to stick to right. it. I'm not going to. You know, I never watched. The I'm not going to watch it. Road Sorry. on Ruby House or whatever the first episode. Was. I, watched I haven't that. watched it. That that was that was my stop stepping off point. It was so oh, bad. Was it okay? Yeah, I decided <laughs> that's it for me. Doctor Who is dead now. Yeah, I, I did um, the specials, mm. and that's oh, they that, were terrible. That, oh, that they were just so bad. Well, it was far notice, worse than I Jason's ever thought. Back in the new one, uh, just or whatever the guy's new name is. I don't oh, care. I, yeah, I, I I couldn't even once that once I saw the specials, I knew that there was no future in this franchise for fans yeah. like me uh who wanted to come back you, you yeah. had us coming back you tried you know you you threw david uh a tenant out there and uh, mm. uh, uh catherine uh tate you threw him out there for us like bait and i yeah. bit the hook and then they pulled me out of the water and gutted me that's what they did <laughs> <laughs> see i just don't like how they portrayed catherine tate's donna as like the most important companion he's ever had oh. It was, it was just so It's bad. terrible. And look, um, I saw the trailer and uh, I was on Dan's channel and he went through every episode. The new episodes come. One of them is a musical, would you believe? Yeah, I it's saw like, that with the Beatles, isn't it? Yeah, Doctor Who, a musical. It's like, what? Why? He comes out the TARDIS saying, give me some loving. I'm like, yeah, no. that that is just... No, 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 no. Listen, I'm barely I'm not... hanging on, Ian. I can't watch yeah. something like that. It'll push me into it'll push me into the dark. I'll be gone forever. I, I, um, I'm not watching it. No, I'm not. I have no intention of watching any episode. I don't care if somebody says to me, "Oh, th- episode three was really brilliant." No, I don't. I don't care. Yeah, I'm out. No, you, I, I, you don't, 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 father. Mm. Oh no, no. I was just going to say, wasn't it blow <laughs> on Animal House that said, "Have you s- considered seriously drinking?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's no, the only way I can watch the show, but then you know it might be a mu- it might be funny, but not really. I like I I can't I can't bring myself to, just like Star Trek, um, mm, modern yeah. Star Trek. I watched the first episode of Discovery, mm. and that was enough. I've never I've never watched another. No, no, I'm lying. I watched one episode of Strange that, New Worlds. Strange New Worlds, yeah. So I've watched one episode of each of those, and watching the one episode of each of those series was enough to to let me know that I wasn't going to watch the rest of that series. It's, so. it's terrible. The, the the whole the whole. I mean, do you know what I watched a couple of weeks ago, which was uh, I I I watched the Avengers again, and I was sitting there so mm-hmm. entertained, even though I knew what was going to happen. Everything you, everything right. about it made me feel happy. <laughs> it just made me feel happy, and you know from. The real Nick Fury to the square, you know, the, what is it? The, um, the, what do you call that square thing? Tesseract, right through to the fight, the ending. What a great movie that was. A lot of fun. Well, it's such a good cast and the direction was good and it was, and it was actually aimed at the fans. Yes. Um, which is kind of the opposite of everything else. Today is the, I think it's the 10th anniversary. Is it? Of the release of Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, such a great film. That is my favorite favorites yeah it is heads and shoulders above the rest of uh the infinity saga yes uh and 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 that's i mean but a lot of those movies i mean iron man i i like the the first iron man film an Mm. awful lot uh robert down jr see him winning the oscar uh that was just i i thought that was fantastic he's become a little bit of a weirdo himself but he's probably always been a little bit of a weirdo but it was it was nice to see rdj getting uh getting it was i I mean i don't know know with it Still. Yeah, I don't know if he deserved it though. I watch Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is a good film. Mm-hmm. It's just you know I don't think they had any competition though. That's the thing. That's why it won so many awards. There wasn't really anything up that will no. be up against well, it. This year isn't going to be much better for movies. I mean, mm. uh, I think we've all talked. There's there's like four films coming out this year that mm. are not sequels, prequels, or reboots. Yeah, uh, that are actually original things like the uh, the the ungentlemanly. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's going to be one of the few that come out. There's um the, the holdovers, which which was nominated, and I didn't it, see if, it. I it's a really good it. film. It is. It's I, a sm- small, tiny little film, and it's really good, in my opinion. I really enjoy. In um, fact, you would love it. What's his Arthur. name? The star. What's the star's um, name? Paul. Um, Paul. Giamatti. 
Jamani, yeah. Paul Jamani, it's in there. Yeah. Like, like me. Um, but yeah, he is. He's so he's he's funny in so many like in 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 the series Billions. He is just such a yes. You hate him, but he's such a great character to hate. Yeah. He does such a good job with it. His father's hilarious. But uh, yeah, Paul Giamatti is such a good actor. Um, I mean, he's he's an Oscar wow. winner. He won it for Cinderella Man. Yeah, he's uh, honestly he's so fantastic. He should have. He really should have won the Oscar um, for um, performance. He, his performance was out of this world. It's a really good film. The director didn't have sets built they went to houses because obviously it was set nice. in the 70s so they went to places and they rented out places and stuff in fact they shot in two schools to be one school because one school didn't look like a 70s so the outside did the inside didn't oh so, you know what i mean so they basically shot in two schools but the paul's character reminds you of of the many teachers I used to have in the seventies when I was going to uh, to college and stuff. So, if you if you like him and if you like seventies, it was actually shot like yeah. a seventies drama as well. You'd like That's this cool. film. I loved it. Thought it was great. Okay, so this is what I just you didn't think. Up. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, nice. What crazy. Oh. Film. I remember this film. Oh, before John Cusack went crazy, he was such a fun actor. <laughs> I remember between that film. and Better Off Dead. Uh, I, I yeah, did like um, uh, uh, Gross Point Blank. He was Gross Point Blank and High what Fidelity are two of his his yeah. his older films where he's yeah. you know a mature adult or more mature adult anyway. Mm. Uh, the, both of those films are just great. And then yeah. he and then he went crazy. I'm glad he I'm glad he went crazy later and he didn't lose me then. So that's he was probably a nut back then too, but I didn't know it. That was the. Well, that I mean, it's like Alec Baldwin. I probably anyway. mentioned it before. I can enjoy him in Beetlejuice. Hunt for Red October, but anything since mm. like 2000, after 2000, I just can't can't do it. Yeah, I he think was um, actually good. Oh, go ahead, Ian. I'm sorry. And I'm just saying, I think John John Cusack is um, the last time I saw him in the film. He had put on a lot of weight. Obviously, he's a lot older. Um, he's still a good actor, but I don't. You know, the thing about John Cusack is he was saying that he wants to make original films. And I think he's, he's he's finding a hard time trying to find those original scripts. And who could blame him, man? Because no no financer, especially these people in charge, will finance original scripts anymore. They're too busy about putting the agendas in scripts. So he doesn't really stand a chance really of getting his stuff, you know, even he, he's like a big star now, isn't he? So, I mean, obviously a big star. So well, that's the he's, thing. What's he's, happening, I would say it? his star is fading, though. It I mean, is. He's not an A-lister anymore. Uh, yeah. People, he has some name recognition, but mm. like from our generation, he has some name recognition. Yeah. For the younger folks, I don't know that he necessarily does. Mm. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. But um, I saw, so there are two series that ran. One you may have heard of, or the other maybe not. Uh, the Masters of the Air. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Neil yeah. Vice. Masters of the Air, I think, was extremely well I, done. I've, I've, it, I saw one episode, it was enough for me. <laughs> well, you didn't like it. I thought it was no, really good. I enjoyed no, it. I didn't, I didn't. Um, it was all right. And then Tokyo Vice is uh, is another uh, one. That, it's a show that not many people have even heard of. It's on HBO. HBO, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is a killer show. It just finished its second season. And that's probably one of the best things that's been on tel television in years. And like I said, it's just like the best show you've never heard of kind of thing. I watched um, Blue Eye Samurai, which is a cartoon which I really liked. I thought it was. I've really heard good. that was good. I haven't, I haven't seen that myself. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And also Dexter's on on uh, Netflix now, so I'll probably start watching that again because I love Dexter, especially the first four seasons. Four, four, four seasons are great. Um, so I'll probably start watching that. I don't watch new stuff anymore unless somebody says to me it's, it's out hard, isn't it? And, yeah. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying to me that um, Shogun is really good. Um, oh, I'm watching Shogun. Yeah, so I should try and watch that, I guess. Yeah, soon. That, the, that's that's also awesome. it's. I, I I'm really enjoying it. the look of the show. is fantastic. Mm. Um, I, I I vaguely remember the 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 first version. The first of it. version. I, I think it was. I remember it. So. Yeah, I remember. Um, but I was I was young, so my you know my my brain was still squishy. Uh, mm. And now I'm older, and it's more squishy. But I'm really enjoying the the new Shogun an awful lot. I like. Um, the actor who's playing John um, Blackthorn, yeah, right. he's he's fabulous. I'm really enjoying him. I, I'd never seen him in anything else. I looked up his name. He's got kind of a goofy uh, real life name, Cosmo mm -hmm. something. It's it's bizarre. But that all I can think of is Kramer from Seinfeld, which I'm also <laughs> watching again. Um, yeah. But the actor himself is brilliant, and it's it is. I mean, tons of subtitles, but you don't mind so much when when the movie is good or when that yeah. show is good. Do, do, so so. 
you guys um have you heard of that film that's coming out made by um seinfeld it's about serial no uh, he's got this no. he's, he's, he made a deal with uh, netflix and he's and he wrote it apparently it's he's playing the guy that was in charge of kellogg's and it was the war mm-hmm. between cereals and um pop tarts or something like that the trailer's <laughs> on the trailer's on youtube it i watched the trailer i didn't laugh once so i don't know oh. it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be <laughs> hugh grant plays tony the tiger would you believe so that's uh, it's gonna <laughs> be interesting yeah so i'd watch it for hugh grant but I do, I do think he's funny. Seinfeld is funny, but yeah, um, that reminds me yeah. of another movie that John Cusick is in because mm. you oh, mentioned yes, Welcome to Wellville. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one too. Oh, but, not seen that. Yeah, it, as I as I said, right. I don't. I think originality in films, and I include myself in this. The only thing you can do is take the best bits of films that you like and then put it all together to make something that you can consider new really recycling really let's face it because every every story has been told right so it's really difficult to have something incredibly original on screen isn't it although a lot of people say that bad things is it bad things with uh emma stone is no, it, no. no what's that one called the one with emma stone playing the crazy woman uh you know the one oh, i mean oh, right? is one that the robot where she's an android or something she's not an android she's she a uh, 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 mind of a child is put into a, a, I think a it's woman poor an adult. Poor things, yes. that's it. Yeah, poor she things. kills herself and then they put her together again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, haven't, I have not seen it. Um, I haven't either. So I probably won't because Mrs. of the Empire doesn't want to see it, which means I'm probably not going to get to see it. You know? But did uh, you know... Mark Ruffle. Mark Ruffle yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Do you know that... Um, so talking about Shogun, uh, I did. I do remember the original Shogun. <laughs> And um, a lot of people say the original Shogun's better than this one, which is interesting. But do you know that um, he played Bourne in the Bourne Identity TV show? Richard Chamberlain. Richard Chamberlain in the 70s played. So basically, Bourne was a TV show. Was it a TV film? Yeah, TV film. I did not know that. Yeah. So I watched a bit of it because it's on YouTube and it just made me laugh. And the girl that's with him is Jacqueline Smith from Charlie's Angels. Yeah, so, so she plays the love interest in the in the film. He wakes up and he has lost his memory, just like the the Matt Damon version. And I didn't wow. know that existed until I was on YouTube. What is the name yeah. of it? It's called Born. It's called the Born Identity. It's the same oh, thing. Bond Identity it's or Born. Born Identity. Holy cats! Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, nor did I. And another thing, right? I didn't have any idea of. Have you heard of the film Man on Fire? Which yes. Denzel with, Washington. That is a remake. I thought it was really. I thought it was original. And guess who was in I didn't that? Didn't know that either. Scott Glenn was in that one, and it's really it's a remake, a step by step remake of the Scott Glenn version. I didn't know that until a couple of days ago. That's crazy, right? <laughs> Look at Richard Chamberlain. That's so fun. I, I was watching a bit of it. It's not too bad as a TV movie goes. You know it just I mean? looks so, it, it well you know, the problem is you know, the other one is burned in your brain at this point so yes, it's, it's it hard is. to shake that out it of is. there it is man yeah. on fire really i, yes, I it, loved man on fire i thought that movie was oh you know oh 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 it just, i'm sorry <laughs> that just told it I'm, my brain is old so it connects things sometimes though You're right so man on fire was was denzel and to go and 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 uh, to come come to to come to yeah yeah funny yeah well i just watched <laughs> and this is another this is another shame shame yeah. shame shame i watched equalizer three three yeah 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 oh my goodness it's so bad it's it so is. bad on so many levels it it's is terrible oh. it is ter- it's like they it's like they wrote the script as they went along that's yeah, what it yeah, felt like, like hey, to me. Let's, let's make a movie. All right. What do you want to do yeah. in this scene? What do you want to do in this scene? Yeah. Hey, there's the fish guy. You know, it's, uh, and I mean, the, the villains are, they're just bad. And yeah, they're, they are, I mean, yeah. they're bad people, but it, they're, it, they're, it, it's poor, it's poorly constructed. Yes. Uh, it's, it's one of those films you do this and the whole thing would come apart. You know, the doctor mm-hmm. finding him in the beginning of the film to the policeman to the yeah. ending that didn't make any sense at all. Um, <laughs> well, well, well Roman, did you not notice the thing about the ending is that when he when he started killing everyone, you never saw him. It was just his hands, and so it looks <laughs> like Denzel's like, like yeah. what seventy years old. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is that it looks like Denzel Denzel only had a, a limited amount of time on the film, 
and then they oh. ran out of time. So he probably used some guy's hands or whatever to kill people at the ending. You never see him fully killing people oh. like in the last two. But yeah, so that's so another really thing. Weird. He, he lock it in the closet and don't watch it, folks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I've seen two really bad movies in the last week. And it's terrible because I don't have a lot of time. I mean, it's like, how did I wander into this? I'm not sure. Uh, I should be watching something way better. And then, no, what are you going to watch? Equalizer 3. Well, I see you made another bad decision. Here you go. But what um, about, um, so they both meet up, don't they, from uh, from Man on Fire? The little Yeah, girl so she's, a, old, she's yeah. a CIA agent. Um, which is really hard to believe looking at which her. is it's it's a very convoluted tale as to how they they bring her yeah. uh into over to europe for this thing yeah. uh, it's like cia is mucking about in, i think she's cia cia yes yeah, yeah, she is cia yeah, forgive me yeah, yeah. um yeah. in in you know in the business of whatever uh italian intelligence agency was working the stuff but it was just yeah it was <laughs> It was sad because, like, I, lo I love, I love both of them, and mm. to see, it's like, what happened, guys? What, what happened? Did you need the money? Yeah. What, what occurred here? That is uh, true, yeah. It was rough. It was rough it to looked... get through. <laughs> As I said, right, it looked good on paper, but unfortunately, <laughs> it... I don't know it... how. Well, we got Denzel, we got Dakota. We'll bring exactly. Them yeah. Well, yeah. Equalizer It'll, in Europe, it'll be fantastic. Oh, but do you know what's, guys? Do you know what's sad about the Equalizer films? Even though I enjoyed the first two. What's sad mm -hmm. is that the format of the Equalizer, which is a TV show, they never really yep. get close to it. The whole idea oh, of the no. Equalizer was that he was CIA, CIA operative and he got so disenchanted with everything that he was doing. He came out because he has so many secrets in it. He came out the CIA, yeah. retired. So they're still looking at him because he has so many secrets, right? So they're still scared of him. And then he decides to help people who need help. And mm -hmm. that's the whole point of the equalizer. He puts yes. an advert in a newspaper. People um, ask him for help. If he deems they need help, he would help them go out the way, break the law to help them. In the equalizer, right? The movies, they just, they did one bit the first one where he puts an advert mm -hmm. on computer. And that was it. And that was the closest. Like, that was the yeah, closest to the, the closest. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. And otherwise, other, and the rest of it is more mm -hmm. opportunistic. It just something yeah. happens and he inserts himself into yeah. a situation. It's a very ch big change up to the formula, though. You're right. Well, the remake, I just... Oh, oh my God, God, Jacob, you're right. The Queen Latifah version. I forgot yeah, about that. Terrible. I mean, I, I like the idea. I tell you what, right? Uh, I would, I love the Equalizer. There was one episode, right, with um, Edward Woodward, where these villains kidnap uh, the Chinese ambassador. Right, has a kid, so they kidnap the kid, right, and um, and the they they call the parents, and the parents come rushing to the house, and they were so relieved because. They didn't kidnap their child. They kidnapped the nanny's child that was looking mm. after, right, after thing, right? And so they weren't so concerned. And then Robert McCall turns up. And what made me laugh was he went up to the uh, woman, the, 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 the mother of the kidnapped kid, and he went, I'm going to get your kid back. <laughs> he was so certain about it. I'm going to get your kid back. <laughs> and he did. So. <laughs> so, but it was a really good story because they didn't, it, it was the, the idea of rich and poor. Do you know what I mean? And Robert McCall was having a go at the people saying, you don't care because obviously, you know, no money, whatever. But he got the kid back at the end. And that's the kind of thing I'd like to see in the movies. But yeah. they didn't do that. They kind of made it convoluted and stuff like that. You know, I didn't mind Denzel being the equalizer, but. They should have kept it at the format, no. like the show. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, whatever. No, the first one was obviously like the most like it. The second one was still at least it was entertaining. Yeah, uh, and then and then there was three. And the, yeah, exactly. And then yeah. there was three. <laughs> and you know well, what? I, I I'll just tell you this episode, right? Which is which is from the TV show. There was one episode where Robert Cole got invited to a party. This huge party. And then all these terrorists came in, right, and held them hostage because there were a lot of rich people in the party. And he was just sitting there at the table, right. And people were getting killed and stuff. And the police was outside trying to negotiate. But the ending was was worth the price of actually watching it. The end, what happened to the ending, he says, puts his hand up and he says, I need to go to the loo, right? Because he's an old man. So they take him to the loo and he gets into the loo and he's in the in the cubicle and he sees a hook on the on the on the wall. He pulls the hook off the wall, he comes out, pretends to wash his hands, and he sticks that hook into that guy's neck. <laughs> <laughs> so literally kills the guy, takes his jacket off, puts his jacket on, drags the guy out so they can't see him, turns around, shoots them all. 
that's it. End of story. So that you sounds know, great. It's great <laughs> because what happens is that you learn about all the people that are going to get killed. And right at the very end, the Rob McCall saves everybody. It's just, it's just a really good episode. I mean, if you've ever come across it, it's a really good episode. But that's what I was hoping the movie would be, but more so. Do you know what I mean? But it wasn't. So yeah. there you go. Anyway, sorry. Well, I made I the mistake of uh, seeing the remake of the A-Team this week. Oh, the movie? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't very good. No, it wasn't. No. no. Um, do you know what, right? If they made that film 10 years before that film came out, I would have cast Jim Carrey, obviously, as uh, as uh, Murdoch. Murdoch. I would have cast Mel Gibson as Hannibal. Um, I don't know who would have cast. Uh, probably um, Duncan. You know the big guy that was in the Green Mile. Uh, mm. I would have cast oh, him yeah. as Mister T because he's dead. Uh, yeah, no, but ten years, ten years, ten years ago before the actual film. But he he would have been a different Mister T, right? He wouldn't have been Mister Mister T. He would have been a different character. And I don't know who would cast his face, but. That would work, in my opinion. But they, the casting for this one was okay. But it, it just, I don't know. The whole film didn't work. It really, it just didn't. fell flat. It yeah. didn't, it didn't, it didn't feel like anything. No, but uh, it's a nice moment in there when I tried to fly the tank. I thought that was quite fun. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> <She's the fools. laughs> yeah. But yeah, Whoa. I don't know. I don't know, mate. Uh, I, it was okay. Well, it was all right. Past well, the it's time. funny because. I, I mean, that show, when it was on back uh, in the uh, 80s, hmm. was it the 80s? Yeah. yeah. My, my, again, my memory of such of the of eras is, is leaving me as well now. But it was such a cultural phenomenon amongst the, the kids that were my age. Mm -hmm. It was like the thing. Everyone was so excited about it. It's all you talked about at school was the A-team, the end kiss. The A-team, the A-team, the A-team kiss. Um, yeah. But it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was just a cultural thing. Uh, Jacob Ironside did a show on X Files the other night, and I was talking about Love you just don't have shows like that. The best, you know, the early days of X Files. He's in season one right now. Yes, where that was such a cultural phenomenon. Mm. Everybody was talking about it. That was your your what they you know they used to call the water cooler shows. Yeah, um, and you just don't have things you know in, in its era. The A Team, uh, Magnum PI, and oh. you know in in more modern era X Files. That stuff is just. Because TV has changed, isn't it? The whole playing field of TV has changed. Yeah, the advertisement really. is not, they're not making money on, on network TVs anymore. The advertisements, so they, they're going to YouTube to advertise their stuff. They're going to influencers to advertise their stuff. You know, they're going to uh, uh, um, streaming to advertise their stuff. So network TV is going to put, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Some of the big ones will stay, but a lot of them are getting phased out. Um, you know, I don't so. know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you a thing on regular television right now. Mm. I could tell you stuff that's on streaming, but I couldn't tell Second you a on. thing that's on a network. Yes, the, yeah, it's not working. It's not working for the networks anymore. As I said, they don't make half as money as as uh, as the streaming and influencers do. It, it is it, it, TV is going to change. I wouldn't be surprised in the next twenty years' time. People won't be watching network stuff, and all network will have is news and sports. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's really it's everything's changing, man. Um, but thank God I'll be dead before people hey! you know, <laughs> before everything starts kicking off. <laughs> well, I've been rooting for Smod, given the uh, the sweet yep. meteor of death, given the current state of almost everything. Oh, as I say, I should play the song. Um, I gave this to our. Choir. Hold on. <laughs> what did you do? Gave this to our choir director. <laughs> You'll like this. That's... Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Guy from hot chocolate. I'll just play the second verse too. <laughs> God. 
good God. <laughs> play the way he ends it um oh that's there's... fabulous quite surprised somebody actually videoed this <laughs> oh that's wonderful well, it, it bothers it me. send me a link to that in the dms okay. if you don't mind because mrs of the empire would have loved that that's that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna send. I'll send it to you on Facebook. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's oh, that's great. Wow. So I'm gonna have to start wrapping up because the school is about to get out, and I'm gonna ah. go see the kids before they leave for the weekend. Right on. Right, right on. Well, right out. So, cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm like I said. I, when summer gets here, I'm hoping to do a little bit more streaming. I'm gonna have a little bit more free time. Um, mm. Right now, I'm just doing a lot of reading for history uh it's been fun always i'm always. enjoying i mean i love being back in school i love teaching history and it's just something i really have enjoyed uh i do miss doing these streams so i mean i really do want to get back to this mm -hmm. well you know are you gonna be are you to turn up to the vegas thing father no i can't next week no oh i got school all right, Roman. Roman will. Roman, if you see um, PJ, slap his head for me, please. I will. I I, I haven't heard from him. I, I got to hit him up in the DMs. I'm like, dude, I, I hope he's still coming. Um, <laughs> but I, I will. I will. I'm, I'm so looking forward to meeting him in the real world. It's it's. There's so many people who are going to be, be coming. It's actually, I've got people like on my normal panel who I I don't even know their real names. You know, they, we all have our superhero names. Uh, that I'm going to get to meet in the real world as well. So I'm I'm really looking forward to this. And yeah, cool. so Man of War is going to be there. Going to see Man of War again. Um, yeah, Man of War. Yeah, he's a nice chap. He's a nice chap. And his wife, really nice chap. Yeah. So that's cool. So, All right then. Uh, any last plugs? No. <laughs> no. I'm off next week, and we're back uh, the following week on the 18th. Uh, I had to move. Uh, we were doing a heavy metal show last night, but I just I I poor I planned poorly, and so I've. Shifted that off to the 18th of April, Thursday, 5 Pacific Standard. Uh, it's our mm. current and modern era metal bands that we like. Very good. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks, guys, for joining me. And thanks to the chat. Uh, we will do this more often. I do promise. Well, th thank you, uh, <laughs> thank you, Father, for having us back. Yeah. It was yeah. wonderful Cheers. to get to see you again. Yeah, it's yeah. good to yeah. see you guys. It's been too long. Yep. It is, yeah, even if it's just your avatar and me too. <laughs> I'll so, come on. I'll show my face next time around. <laughs> okay. well, we're hitting the button. We'll catch up with everybody later. Ta-da!